everybody, I'm Sam here in IGN's Office Arcade. I've just unboxed the Stern Premium James Bond Pinball Machine. I cannot wait to check it out and show you around. Let's do this. The first thing people notice when looking at the James Bond 007 playfield is the Bird 1 rocket, nestled in a loop behind some drop targets. Hit the target sound and you can lock balls in the center shot. The balls in this premium edition get shot up the launch pad structure to be released down the cool spiral wire form for Bird 1 multiball. This is an easy multiball just to walk up to the machine and play should you stumble across a bond at the arcade. What you may not notice right away is a few tiny bonds lurking around the playfield, including one looking rather submerged below the playfield in this launcher area on the left. It's just peeking through, kinda like the creature in Monster Bash. And there's a bond in a jetpack in the upper right of the playfield. These areas are both related to Jetpack Multiball, which you trigger by hitting the ball in the scoop by the underwater bond and then shooting the left ramp. The ball actually gets picked up and transported by the jetpacking bond over the Dragon Tank. Scoring is based on the ability to not only hit shots in this multiball, but set up a jetpack release over the tank itself. It takes some pretty fun timing. Another notable toy is the Aston Martin DB5 in the lower right, but it's a clever play on the classic eject seat. This area allows you to start gadget modes for a few other multiballs. Note that all of the ramps and bond are nice metal ramps, which makes for smooth shots and easy maintenance. It feels really good when you dial them in, although the small fan of ramps in this middle right playfield area has some pretty tight shots that take some warming up. Luckily, the center shot and the rocket area can both tee up the upper left flipper quite reliably. Note that bond is slathered in art and this particular version has movie posters all over the side art and a You Only Live Twice color scheme, while other versions feature Dr. No and Thunderball on the translates. All versions use tons of movie footage on the back box screen, including callouts from movies and licensed music. It's the full, often campy package of 60s goodness, kind of similar to Batman 66. This machine is shipped with Stern's QR reader to connect it to the Insider Connected app for achievements and other leaderboard features. I'm not sure how we did without this for so long. It's just the best thing for home game owners and also arcade visits as well. Thanks for checking this out with me. I'm so excited to play some more. For more on pinball, check out our Mandalorian Topper unboxing. It's super cool. It's this thing that goes on top of the machine, has a hologram in it, it's amazing. We also unboxed the new Godzilla Premium machine. For everything pinball, keep checking back to IGN.